Hello Boathouse. And anybody else who's watching, anybody else who's subscribed, thank you so much. It is really appreciated. Okay, so, um, I know in the last little video of the playing, a sort of um, one of Mustang Sally, that's more something I'd want to do with you guys in the flesh. Um, just because little things after re-watching it haven't come across. Because I'm still using my phone at the moment. Because at the moment I still don't have enough money to get myself a decent camera and the gubbins we need. So I thought um, we'd look at something a bit more fun. Um, yeah, try and explain it. Um, okay, um, this is used, this particular drum riff is used in, I can't list how many. Um... You could use it if you were playing a basic, broken down cover of um, Disco Inferno. Okay, so it's, what we're going to do, it's a bit sort of like the beat, but it's a little bit mixed up sort of thing. Okay, so it's, um, so let me just, you know, Disco Inferno will have the... into it because there's you know there's different layers onto it different players play it differently um if you see me with the gigawatts for instance i play it one way um but then you see me if i'm depping on another band such as you know bands like local band smoking jacket i've done some depth gigs for you know if they decide to play you know i'll play it slightly differently again it's all to do with um you know things like as i've said before like the importance of listening to like your bass player and how they're playing it, how they're phrasing, and it's the same on the drums. So, what we're going to start with um, is, you know, you remember the beat. Okay, we're not going to keep a constant. That's okay. So, you want a nice little one, two, three, four. And then that hit will then roll over on and it makes this one. Okay, but we're just going to sort of start you off on the hand. So in your head, you have the one, two, three, four. A bit like I've said, like singing the drum riff. Um... I think, um, like you see guitar players, when they're like moving their mouth and they're really, really into a solo, they're singing that solo. And a great um, example of that is the amazing Mr. Ainsley Lister. You can sing his guitar solos. Okay, and you know, some of the drum riffs, you know, it, it sounds silly, but boom, that's, 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 or if you've heard the object, Boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats. That's the kind of feel you want. That we're, we're starting to move you guys into a bit more feel on the drums. You know, not just. Yeah, not so robotic. You can be a bit more free. So it's. We'll start this off. Um, the ending of it. So do you remember legs? Same thing, you don't need the kit to do this. You've got practice pads, you've got curtains, cushions, as I always say. Make sure that you do have a metronome on when you are practicing this though. Okay, because you really need to have that. Just so you get the basic. When you get more loose and free with it, then you can build off it. 
But you've got that inbuilt into you now. You've got that one, and a two, and a three, and a four, and a one, and a two, and a three, and a four. You've got that built in. So that internal metronome we, we're developing throughout these little workshops. And I've been doing it subtly from the start when we did We Will Rock You. Been subtly developing into, uh, without even thinking about it, having that mental metronome in your head. That, Just hitting a bit harder so you can hear where the one is. And the same thing with me going, a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four. Okay, so we're going to start off slow. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start with the kick. I've changed my mind how we're starting this from what I did before. Okay, so because this is a bit more easy for me to explain and put across without actually being in the room with you guys. Okay, so first note or B, whichever you want to call it, is okay, so it's one, and then what we're going to do is we're going to bring, same thing, you're left-handed, you left-handed, you left foot, I'm right-handed, as I keep saying, so I start with this, so kick, hat, snare, hat, okay, so very slowly, we're going to just do a Okay, so you're hearing that. When you get that down a couple of times, just run it through. Three, four. What you're actually doing, your hits are the one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then you gradually. So you can gradually build and build and build on it. But we only want to go slow, as I said, and I say in all my videos, please pause, slow it down, you know, take your time. Don't, if you're not getting it straight away when we start adding the snack, you know, go have a cup of tea and go for a nice walk, watch a little bit of telly or do something else on the drums. Do, do like some rudiment practice or something, you know, just something different. Then come back to it. There are no prizes for being the fastest, you know, there's like, because you can learn bad techniques and bad ways to do it. I said, I have my way of playing it. Um, other players have their way of playing it, their way of phrasing. So, we're going to add the snare in, so very slowly. One, four. Slow it down for you. Two. Whoops. Three. Sorry about that double hit there. One. Two. Three. Okay, so you can count it. And don't feel silly about counting out loud as well. I mean, I do it when I play, you know. You, if you ever come and see me play or you see me play or you were at FinFest and you saw me play, I played with Suspect. I only had a couple of practices and there were some songs in there I really wasn't confident on. Um, like the Immigrant Song and um, Woman. Very similar drum riffs and I played the wrong intro to um, Woman. But it is what it is. You know, it's live music. It happens. I, I pulled it back. I did a drum break. Pulled it back while I was laughing and... After that, you could see me sort of counting in my head and my mouth was going. And I was actually singing the drum riff. So, we're now going to add the fourth hit, okay? So, we're actually doing two hits with our hi-hat hand, which is there. One hit with our snare. One hit with our kick leg or bass drum leg. And we're keeping the hi-hat locked down with our left foot if you're on a drum kit. Okay, you can still do the movements if you're not. But what we're going to do is I'm just going to play it at the rhythm. So. Okay, so all we're doing is just adding that when we say four. So. Four. 
okay? So does it make sense you're counting with your limbs you know, instead of going it's just and this is used in you know loads of different songs like a lot of disco uses this drum riff as well a lot of new pop songs actually this is underneath a lot of what is going on like um the one you do in your choir um the justin timberlake one i can't think of the name off the top of my head um is it just dance might be just dance sorry i'm waffling okay and then what we can do is slow it down pause the video slow it down as i said get your metronome set up just feel it because we're now because i know how advanced you guys are now and i know how much you progressed we're now going into feel okay so we're now going into feeling what's going on on the kit feeling the rhythm feeling the song and the bass players playing when we do sort of like a live band setup thing you're going to hear the bass player and you're going to feed off of him or her and they're going to feed off of you okay so it's all about that nice feel that nice groove it's all about what i love it sitting in a pocket you know, you don't have to be the flashiest drummer in the world, giving it all the drum breaks and all the fancy stuff. You can, I mean, Sugarfoot, I mean, he, he just. You know, that, that's what he does. Um, Bunny, Angel Lister's drummer, insane drummer, lovely guy. He just sits in the pocket. Jason Smith um, from Stormy T, Bluesman's Lane and um, in Dorsey 4, Impression Symbols. Uh, same thing, sits in the pocket, does what's necessary. And when he gets his chance, when he gets the nod, he goes for it. Then falls back and just sits in that groove, just, just really feeling and enjoying so a song we're in good song to listen to for this so you can sort of like just practice and slow it down and stuff if you've got i don't know how to do it because i'm rubbish at technology is um a disco inferno it's a really 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 good one to do um the intro is just, just your straight hits on your snare floor tom and kick you can add hi hat you know and the bass is going <laughs> You know, it's um, but you can use that for, I mean, different things like <laughs> we'll, we'll get on to things like that, but all of that basis under it is. you slow it down and take your time as i said when when we can finally um i think it'll be around september now um unless anything does change in the summer that i can come see you guys um you know i'm not expecting you you know to sit there and go oh look tyler look I would rather see you going and being in that pocket and really feeling it and getting into it. I mean, it's the um, it's the same thing with what I was saying about being a robot. Yes, there are things, you know, there is the core, which is the robotic bit. But you expand on it, you grow on it and it, I mean, for me, that's where you develop your sound as a drummer. You can identify who is playing the drums. And it's the same with guitarists and bass players. One prime example is B.B. King. I could put on 30 blues tracks for you. One note, and I'll be able to pick out B.B. King. One note, I could pick out Buddy Guy, Muddy Waters, you know. 
all these your Ainsley Lister, Matt Schofield, all these guys, you know, they've all got, because they've got feel and they've developed and they've got their sound and how they phrase things. So I know that when we all get together and we're all on the kits, you guys aren't going to sound like the person who was on before you. The person on after you isn't going to sound like that at all. You know, it's different styles, but the core of it is... adding flair and you can add the extra kick note in as well when you're comfortable so let's try and slow it down to doing stuff up. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll get on to, sorry, I was gonna go into a groove then, I realise that I'm doing this, because uh, that's a really fun thing to do, but we'll get on to that. But the main thing is to focus on that. Boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats. Um, I can't feel my face. That song. So, boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats and a lot of eighty stuff actually. A lot of eighty stuff. I've realised. Um, a lot of scar underneath the scar. Da -da -da. <laughs> step beyond I'm having to learn that's got little trills and stuff in it but yeah you know please leave me a comment guys please let me know how you're getting on if you are struggling with anything I have absolutely no problems getting in contact with you via Facebook because um, I know how the Facebook um, camera thing works I can work out zoom so I can um, do a little zoom thing with you you know I've got no problems at all. If you want to contact me, ask me questions, you're not sure, you're not feeling confident, just please give me a ring, guys, because I've, I've got no problems. I'm here to help you guys and watching you guys progress. That's, that's my main aim. And the end goal is skill for life and a massive grin. I mean... Best anger management in the world, I tell you. You know, but, you know, please do, and, but listen to Disco Inferno. Um, you can listen to um, September, Earth, Wind and Fire. Um, I did have, Amy sent me a list of your um, bits you're doing. So I'm going to have a look through that. I saw Bohemian Rhapsody. Wow. Um I'm not sure how I'm going to do that with a live band. Um, and the other musicians, who's going to be there and that, and we'll try and arrange something. Yeah. Um, yeah, we'll try and work something out for that. Um, but no, there's a couple of other ones. So, yeah, I said, you know, just slow it down and... And then gradually build it up. Then you get that start here in the groove. Like I was saying about last time, I mean, I want to do it with you guys in the flesh just purely because it's going to be easier for me to show you little things and you, you'll have a full view of things like my feet, of what's going on with my feet, like Mustang Sally and sort of little things, Superstition, because this actually relays back. This is This little riff is in Superstition. So, you know, there's things there and it opens up such a toy box of songs 
that you guys can listen to on the radio and go, oh, hang on, oh, I can hear in the, it, yeah, underneath it's going, you know. But I know it sounds silly, but it really does sound like boots and cats and boots and cats. It, but, you know, it's, as drummer speak, you know, boots and cats, cats, you know, it's, it's one of those things, I mean, like superstition, I mean, top using things from your rudiments practice which you know will get on to things like developing movement on hi-hat moving moving you know so you can then leave a comment anything you wanted me to sort of focus on if you wanted different camera angles if you wanted me to do anything different thank you guys so much for watching please leave a comment or you know if at boathouse you know you can get hold of amy millie um um they can message me or if you guys wanted to ask them they'll put you onto my facebook page you're more than welcome to message me on my personal facebook page not just my drummer for hire page please you know get hold of me and you know if you want help we can arrange video stuff but yeah that's it I'd like to, once again i'd like to thank impression symbols um once again you know these are just insane make sure you head over to impressionsymbols.co.uk impressionsymbols.com and please look at their china ranges and their splash symbol ranges because remember you guys are going to be choosing those for me and also don't forget to head over to www.nonutsymbolsleeves.com or alternatively on impression symbols website you can purchase the no nut symbol sleeves which are possibly one of the greatest inventions for hardware in the last i can't even list how many years but Thank you again for watching, guys. As I said, please like, please leave a comment, leave, um, please subscribe, and I shall um, see you guys maybe in the next week or so. I shall see how work goes, but my plan is to do another video at the weekend for you, going a bit more in depth on what we've just done, what we can build on. But until then, guys, I'll see you later. Bye.